What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you yet another brand new video. And it has been a while since I've did one of these announcement style videos. What's going on uh, within the clan itself? What's going on with the channel? Uh, we're gonna be talking very quickly in this quick video uh, about the premiere coverage, how to join as far as recruitment is concerned, what's going on with From Mont Lava. I'll try to cover all of that in this quick video. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with invite. We officially, officially uh, wrapped up our invite season uh, in, in CWL invite season three. We were originally going to be doing the not in playoffs tournament. Uh, we found out we had about 48 hours before uh, what ended up being the playoffs. We ended up finding out that we were going to be in the playoffs. So rip nip essentially, that's the not in playoffs tournament, had about 48 hours to get our bases ready and get our roster squared away, especially considering the fact that originally, like I said, we were not even going to be in the playoffs. And because of that, we did unfortunately have quite a few members uh, leave the clan. We had quite a few members bail out. Uh, same thing with From Molten Lava, which I'll get into uh, right after this. So we had to get our bases squared away, had just a couple days uh, to do it, had to get our roster squared away, and we end up making it into the playoffs. At the end of the video, I'll go ahead and link uh, my last video, uh, which is talking about the Krupp War League and uh, the clans that are banned, so we're not going to get into that in this video. Long story short, ended up making it into the playoffs. Uh, we reward Red Omega, the final to that war, 115 to 109. Huge shout out uh, to the guys and girls over in Red Omega. Hands down, one of the best clans in the world. It was an absolute blast warring them. Wish them nothing but the best of luck in the rest of their invite season. Uh, it's going to be very, very exciting to see how that all breaks down. So, uh, like I said, when From Mont Lava and Fortune Steel seasons both came to a close. We had quite a few retirements uh, that we were forced to deal with. And like I said, we had a lot of members unfortunately leave. Uh, best of luck to all of them. People are free to play this game wherever they like. So with that, we were forced to make a decision. We had to make a decision. Uh, you know, desperate times often call for desperate measures. So we pretty much had to uh, or we offered a lot of positions, a lot of open positions. Uh, for a minute there, we were sub 35 members uh, in the clan of uh, Forge from Steel. Uh, we were splitting leadership. We were splitting talent between both these clans. We made the last second decision uh, to offer uh, the From Mont Lava members and their leadership to come over to Forge from Steel. And now Forge from Steel being the primary focus. Uh, uh, from Mont Lava is still there. It's obviously not the clan uh, that it was just a couple weeks ago. If, I mean, if you look at it, if it's under your bookmarks or whatever, it's, I mean, it's it's pretty empty at the moment. Uh, but that, you know, like I said, desperate times call for desperate measures. The focus at the moment is now forged from steel. Uh, un, it's uncertain what the future of From Molten Lava is going to be. We are still looking to get possibly into CWL and in one of the uh, one of the leagues and or the MLCW. Uh, so that segues me into the next thing I wanna talk about, which is recruitment. We've gotten a lot of people wondering and asking how they can join uh, not only the Forge by the Bay family, but more specifically the Forge from Steel side of that family. In every single one of the videos on this channel, you can see that there is a link to a Discord server and it says you know, how to join. So uh, on whatever mobile device you're on, download the Discord app if you do not have it yet. Uh, download Discord, if you already have it, go ahead and click that link down below. Like I said, it's on any of the videos uh, on the channel and we can get you guys uh, through the application process. One important thing uh, as far as you know, what we're looking for, what we're actually looking for, Town Hall 9's applying, and Town Hall 11's applying, you pretty much are going to have to be max defenses and max heroes for each of these Town Hall levels. It's pretty much how it goes as far as the Elite War scene is concerned. So Town Hall 9, max defenses, 
30, 30 heroes. Town Hall 11's applying. Max defenses, uh, 45, 45, 20 for your heroes. Uh, Town Hall 10 is pretty much uh, the exception because of the tier system. Uh, what the hell? At the end of this video, I'll go ahead and link the tier system video. Uh, for those of you guys that do not know what that is, we're obviously asking for people that have war experience uh, under their belt already. And like I said, max defenses and max heroes for Town Hall 9, Town Hall 11. Town Hall 10, max heroes 40-40. Uh, defenses can vary depending on tier. We're especially looking for tier 2s and tier 3s. Uh, we're still very hyped. We're still very enthusiastic. Uh, activity has absolutely skyrocketed. Uh, it's just crazy how things kind of end up working, working themselves out. We have a very active core group in Fortune Steel. Combi combining that with how active uh, the members and leadership was in From Mont Lava that came over, uh, it has been absolutely lit as far as the planning, as far as the voice sessions. Even midweek, uh, we have up. Sometimes we have up to ten people out on voice. Uh, so huge, huge shout out uh, for everybody coming together. Like I said, desperate times often come for des uh, desperate times often call for desperate measures. Uh, but is still looking very, very bright for the future. Looking very bright on the horizons for the Forge by the Bay uh, and Forge from Steel family. Um, so we went ahead and covered recruitment. As far as Premiere, I have not forgotten about you guys. I mean, you guys can just look at the videos. Uh, I, I, I didn't make a video for about a week. Damn near uh, getting close to a week and a half before I released the last video. Uh, real life has just been absolutely insane. You know, having to make these uh, last second decisions as far as from molten lava, you know, people leaving, uh, finding out that we were going to be in playoffs uh, as opposed to the NIP tournament. It has been absolutely insane, not only in my real life, but uh, in the game itself. But that premiere coverage is going to be coming. Just bear with me. Uh, we just wrapped up the opening round. And this coming weekend, we have the quarterfinals, which I will have plenty of time to go to the clans, record that footage, get those recaps out to you guys. So thank you for being patient. I will have those videos out to you. The video following this one will be a breakdown of what's pretty much happened in Premiere as far as the standings and just overall how everything went down in the opening round. Congratulations to the 16 clans that made it to the playoffs and the eight clans that have uh uh, moved on to the quarterfinal. Shout out to you guys. Quick shout out to all of the members who stuck by our sides, who hung in there. Uh, you know, whether we, we made playoffs or not, I uh, want to give a special shout out to all the members, all the elders, the leadership team. I cannot do this without you guys. Uh, it has been an absolute blast and we will be continuing uh, to keep this going. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out to all of the subscribers, all the viewers, uh, you know, for, for hanging in there, uh, for, for showing up for, I mean, as small as a channel, this is, uh, it's amazing the support, uh, that I have. And you guys definitely give me motivation to keep making these videos. Uh, and that is, is exactly what I intend to do. Uh, we also have real quick, one more thing before uh, we wrap this up, uh, clash cup league. I will be doing a lot of coverage for that. Uh, we are one of eight clans that have been accepted into the clash cup league. Um, so look forward to that. That's going to be starting very, very soon. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.